Let me help you boys out real quick. Head on over to my sponsor, EasyMutt.com, for the safest, fastest, and absolute cheapest Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins on the market. And don't forget to use code Juju. That's going to save you an extra 5% off at checkout. And follow EasyMutt1 on Twitter for daily giveaways. Baby, welcome to the party. I'm off the money to see the lean. That's why I'm over retarded. That's why I'm over retarded. Baby, welcome to the party. Uh, I hit the boy up and then I go skate around. YouTube. How y'all boys doing, man? And welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the best quarterbacks in Madden 22 Ultimate Team. But before we get into all that, I would just like to say, if you are new to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you could smack that sub button for me. Also, drop a like on the video. Hit me down below in that comment section and turn on those post notices to get notified every time I post a new video. Now, first things first, we got to talk about some of the honorable mentions. Now, these dudes are still really good quarterbacks, don't get me wrong, but they're just something kind of holding them back not getting them to that next level on the actual top five list whether it be like speed throw power their accuracies even the archetype so starting off here with aaron Rodgers. now this one definitely hurts me a little bit obviously being a diehard packer fan but i mean i got to be realistic he's not a top five quarterback in mutt right now for starters he's an improviser which definitely hurts him not getting that set feet lead or any of the really glitchy abilities then for his stats here he's got 69 speed which I mean, it's not horrible, but it's definitely not great. 85 throw power is... That's just disrespectful for A-Rob, I'm going to be honest. 87 short, 82 mid, 87 deep. So the throwing accuracies are pretty decent. And then 86 throw under pressure, 86 on the run, and an 84 play action. One good thing about Rockin' Rodgers, though, is he does have that really glitchy, really fast, almost like sidearm release. So that is definitely a plus. When he does get his next upgrade, that will hands down be a top three quarterback in Mutt. He usually is every single year, just strictly off of that release. Next up, we got somebody's great, 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 great grandfather. Father Tom Brady. He's got 50 speed, 83 throw power, which right there is kind of the reason that he's not higher up on my list. He is a field general, which is good, but low throw power, horrible speed. The accuracies are there though, 89 short, 88 mid, 84 deep. If he had higher throw power, he would definitely probably be on my top five list, but 83 is just really weak at this point in the game. Then we got this team builder, Justin Fields, and honestly, if you're running an offense where you like to run it through QB a lot, you know, a lot of read options, quarterback design runs, this might be the best quarterback quarterback for you strictly because he's got that 87 speed 86 agility 86 excel which i do believe is still the fastest in the game and he's got 88 throw power which you know is actually pretty solid he's gonna be able to sling that thing a little bit some solid accuracies as well with 80 short 78 mid and an 81 deep so this one really is up to you i mean if you're more of a drop back passer like to kind of doubt up the defense this definitely isn't the card for you but if you do like to run a lot with your quarterback get him outside the pocket definitely take a look at this justin fields then the last quarterback on my honorable mentions was the pre-order Peyton Manning that I forgot who it was from. I think it was like Walmart or something. It was some kind of pre-order bonus that you got him. That card actually is really, really nice. It's just super rare because not a lot of people got that pre-order bonus. Coming in at number five on my list here, we got the rookie premier Trevor Lawrence. Now he's got 79 speed, 88 throw power, 84 short, 81 mid, 80 deep, 80 under pressure, 81 on the run, and an 82 play action. And he's a field general, so he's going to get that set feet lead, going to get a lot of the glitchy ability and he's also 6'6", which is really nice. You definitely like your quarterbacks to have size so they don't hit the back of the old line at all. So, I mean, yeah, I do definitely recommend this quarterback, but only if you can get him by either hitting level 10 or if you had rookie premier tokens from last year. He is honestly going for way too much on the auction house. When you can get guys like Daniel Jones or some of the other dudes I'm gonna show on my list for a lot cheaper. Then coming in at number four here, we got the new Mutt Superstars, Russell Wilson. Honestly, number three and number four on my list are interchangeable. You can go either way with them. Super, super similar cards but for this rust card here he's got 77 speed 86 throw power 86 short 87 mid 88 deep 88 under pressure 89 on the run and an 89 play action now he is an improviser which definitely kind of kills this card a little bit he's not going to get set feet lead or any of those glitchy abilities and he's 5'11 so i mean he's on the shorter side you might have some problems with hitting the back of the o-line but his stats are looking really nice and he is pretty mobile so i mean it's kind of up to you this card i don't hate i just don't think he's better than the rest of the guys on this list coming in at number three on my list we got patrick mahomes <laughs> 
Now, like I said, him and Russell Wilson are definitely interchangeable. Their cards are super similar, but Patrick Mahomes here has got 71 speed, 88 throw power, 88 short, 84 mid, 86 deep, 87 under pressure, 89 on the run, and an 87 play action. Now, the reason I went with Mahomes over Wilson is because of that throw power being too higher. That's definitely going to help you out a lot. One of the more important stats for a quarterback, and also because he is 6'3". Like I said, those shorter quarterbacks, you might have some problems hitting the back of the old line, and with Patrick Mahomes, you're not going to really have to worry about that. Now, I will say one bonus about Russell Wilson is he is a little bit faster. He has 77 speed compared to Mahomes where he only has 71. So I guess it's really up to you deciding what's more important, the extra throw power and height or that speed. But that's going to bring us to the number two quarterback on our list here, Johnny Unitas. He's got 80 speed, 89 throw power, 87 short, 87 mid, 88 deep, 83 under pressure, 83 on the run, and an 88 play action. He also is a field general, which you definitely love to see. 6'1", so I mean, okay height, kind of on the shorter side to be honest, but great throw power, great accuracies, and some solid speed with 80 there. Really nice card, but he's just not better than the number one quarterback on our list. But if you do have this Johnny Unitas, like you're definitely gonna win a lot of games. He is kind of similar to the number one QB on our list. A little bit slower, a little bit shorter, and I'm guessing you guys know who I'm talking about. If you didn't already guess it, the number one quarterback on our list is gonna be the flashback Daniel Jones. I mean, this really isn't a debate. He's got 85 speed, which is like the third fastest quarterback in the game. 89 throw power, 85 short, 84 mid, 88 deep, 84 under pressure, 87 on the run, and an 88 play action. He also is a field general, so like I said, he's gonna get the best abilities in the game. He's 6'5", so he's got the size, he's got the speed, he's got the throw power, he's got the accuracy. He's literally everything you're looking for in a quarterback. Now, I have no idea what Daniel Jones did to deserve this card. I mean, I'm sorry, Giants fans. He is a bottom five, maybe bottom 10 if I'm being generous quarterback in the league, and he's somehow the best quarterback in Madden, but hey, it's Madden. It's not realistic, clearly. Shut your fucking ass up. Get shut the fuck up. Yeah, boys, that is gonna wrap it up, so definitely let me know down below how you think I did, if there's anything you change, or if you agree with my list. But yeah, that is gonna do it, though, so if you did enjoy, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a sub, leave a comment down below, and turn those post notes on. But that is gonna do it, so I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.